In theory, if we all stayed home for two weeks, the epidemic would die out. But this would be not only very costly, it would also be impossible to do. We need doctors and nurses in hospitals, firemen on duty, food to be delivered and so on. So we need to set up measures that are both feasible and efficient. This is where economic research comes in. In my research, I have studied the many viral epidemics that hit France in the last quarter of the century. I looked at both the effect of closing down schools and shutting down public transportation. The good news is that closing down schools and shutting down public transportation are measures that work. They do not eradicate the epidemic on their own though, but they reduce the number of cases for a while. And there is another important factor, season. Most viruses thrive in winter, but die out in the spring and summer. So what is important is to delay the propagation of the virus long enough so that better weather kills them off. Now, the important economic issue is the cost. Shutting down the economy represents a short-run cost. However, previous epidemic shows that the economy rebounds quite quickly, so that in the longer run, it is not as important as what people think. The other type of cost is the disruption caused by closing schools. It may not seem much for a given child, but if you prevent a whole generation to learn, even for a few weeks, it adds up in the long run. On balance, in normal epidemics, it is too costly to close schools and public transportation on a massive scale. The reason is that a virus such as the flu is luckily not very lethal. My research shows that it would have to be two to three times more deadly to justify such measures. Coming back to the coronavirus, this one is about 20 times more deadly than the common flu. This indicates that the measures in place are indeed the right ones. The good news is that the spring is on its way, so we should just bear with the virus a bit more until it disappears, hopefully for good or until the next epidemic.